I too was distracted by Anthropic's new benchmarks. Then I went wandering in my yard, minding my own business, unaware of the fact that TikTok just released an IDE. You can access the newest Sonnet version, which almost crushed whatever this guy was planning. Try. It's also a VS Code fork. That means you can easily migrate all your configurations and more importantly extensions to your brand new IDE. It has a minimal UI, which is a relief if you ever had to use Android Studio as your coding environment. You can ask your terminal errors in the chat section by add to chat feature and because you are giving the prompts directly from IDE, it will be able to read the context and know what commands led up to this error, which is usually something more complicated than math for Glad to understand. I don't know what's more impressive, the fact that it's free and made by TikTok or the fact that it's Chinese. To install, go to the Try. website and hit download. Then choose your theme and language. I selected Chinese of course. Then because VS Code fork, you can import your configurations from cursor or VS Code itself. And finally, you can install the command to control your IDE from terminal. Hey, hey. Log in if you want to use AI features. Yeah, I couldn't log in. Let me choose Sonnet 3.7 to see how it does. And some of you might say, yeah, why don't you just open the browser and you, uh, yeah, why don't you go fuck yourself? One of the creative features is that you can use both chat mode and builder mode. Builder mode can build entire projects from scratch, which is basically making you accept the commands one by one. <laughs> AI features. <laughs> then in the chat, I asked, you know, usual stuff, and it did give me a very decent response. A cool feature is that you are able to drag and drop a file to specify where you need the AI changes. For web, you can view your application directly from IDE, and cloning from GitHub is a convenient choice. And if anything, they have a friendly and active Discord community. There's a lot of other features to explore, and it would be great if you guys could mention them in the comments, so we can have our wavy while it's free. I'm deleting VS Code and Cursor. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.